thank you for staying with us. We're still on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and it's time for our second hot topic. Um, we're talking about the planned restructuring of TCN. Um, and NLC has said it's dangerous. I mean, we've seen cases of TCN trying to restructure. We've seen cases of them. Um, well, there was the power holding company, and then there was the distribution companies. And now TCN says they want to restructure. However, NLC is saying it's quite dangerous, and they are faulting that restructuring and saying, you know, we should have more policies in place. There should be policy reforms. But um, joining us to give us some insights on this and um, his take is Comrade Ayo Obisoya. He's, from the, he's a Lagos State Chairman of the National Union of Electricity Employees, NUEE. Good morning, Comrade Ayo. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, my sister. Good morning. Nice to see you. Same. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. So um, NLC is saying that this restructuring is quite dangerous and um, TCN shouldn't go with this. What is your take? I mean, you are the Lagos State Chairman of the National Union of Electricity Employers. I'm sure you have a lot um, on this issue, on this case. So what are your take? What's your take? What are your thoughts? In the first instance, whenever we talk of privatization, are the government doing it in a good way? Mm. That's number one. Privatization is good. But are they really privatizing the company to the right people that they're supposed to privatize it to? And privatization is a competition between the government-owned business and private sector. So who are the private sectors that government are willing to sell it to? The one they have done in the past, does it work? Is it favorable to Nigerians? Do we see the light? Now, they want to break the chain of production by saying that they want to sell TCN. Selling TCN, privatizing TCN, is it going to work for Nigeria? It's just like in, uh, when you have a production, in the chain of manufacturing a product, and you break in and tell us that you don't need the old sales. Transmission is like the old sales. And why we are having this? But are they doing it in good faith? So what, 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 does, what does this privatization mean for TCN? What are the changes that we would see? And are they good changes or are we changing for the worse? So what does that even mean? I think a lot of people need to understand what privatizing the TCN would mean. The worst. We are changing to the worst. Because TCN is as one, or TCN is one. And when you break the monopoly, you are thinking that you want to break the monopoly. There is no way you can break the chain. If you break the chain, which means some parts will not have light. Like mm. today, in some areas, you don't have light. Why? Because the people who bought, they are pure businessmen. They don't care about you. What has the change have they bring? brought into the system. No change. They've not bought transformers. They've not bought the no injection station that has been improved. And TCN is the only chain that we have now. And TCN is giving supply. As we speak today, TCN gives supply. But distribution refused to, to dash it out. They are not giving it out. They will only give to people they believe they can pay. So the same thing we happen, and we are paying more, Nigerians are paying more. And if TCN goes to the end of private, as we speak, we are going to pay more. So Nigerians are going to suffer more. Hmm. Have you seen light? Have you seen the electricity? Have they given you electricity? They have promised us they are going to give 24 hours electricity. But today, we are seeing darkness. The darkness we are seeing today. And we are paying more for the darkness. <laughs> We are paying more for the darkness. Okay, uh, let's just uh, hear your response to what some people are saying. Not for the Okay, some people are saying it's possible that they, um, your organization is just worried for your jobs because they are comparing TCN or electricity or power, the power sector, to the communication sector. And they said 
if it could work for the communication sector where now everybody can buy a SIM card, buy a phone and be making calls, something that was, for, was reserved for the elite in those days, then it can work for electricity or power generally. And whatever you are saying is just because you are afraid for your jobs. Is that what it is? How would you respond to that? Thank you. You know, this has happened in the last 12, 13 years before privatization. When the union that are inside, inside us, are telling Nigerians that telecommunication and power industry are two different entities. They are not the same. You can prefer to use power up to you in communication. But in electricity, iron must touch iron before you will have electricity. Iron must touch iron. You must connect wire to wire before you can have electricity. And in the respect of this, there is a big difference, lacuna, between electricity and telecommunication. Electricity is not a thing that you just said that we want to do it this way, we want to have it that way. If they are not part of it, if they are sold distribution to a competent hand, we won't be speaking talk of what we are saying today. If we have Asia Brand ABB there, we have other companies which they can sell distribution companies to. But they sold it to their friends and their cronies. And today, they've not improved on anything. And what we are having today in the electricity industry is backward. And ask these people, how many injection stations have they built? If you don't have a build injection stations, you cannot give light. These are issue, basic issues. How many have they built? They've not built anyone. Go and ask the Kedja Electricity, how many injection stations have they built to improve electricity? No. Ask the code distribution. No. Ask the badum. No. Ask any one of them. No. You cannot be a banker and come into this industry and you believe. We have the market. Red made market is there for electricity industry. It's red made market. How do we improve on it? How do we give people right? Now, we are having banned. That's the reason TCN is having problems. The distribution of band A, band B, band D, band C, band D. And they will tell you they will give band A 24 hours light. That's the major city where they know the big mans are residing. Go to the rural area. Go to some area. They don't have light. Not that the light is not being provided by, by TCN, but they refuse to collect. And when you refuse to collect, it bounces back to transmission. Transmission will have what? Outage. And when there is problem, you will have system collapse. And that's the reason you are having system collapse. And the network that transmission has today, if distribution has it, we are going to on light in Nigeria at least for 20 hours mm. without no problem. But distribution fails. The same thing will happen if they privatize transmission. Because all what they will be out there for is to make money. We are making money in the electricity industry. We are, we are making a, a distribution company making 19 billion naira in a month, making 20 billion naira in a month. And you will still tell us that there is no money. But wouldn't that, wouldn't that, wouldn't that, if, if um, TCN um, gets privatized and they are making this money that you're talking about, wouldn't that be revenue for yeah. the country? Isn't that a way for well, us to me, make money as well? Let me tell you, we can make more money. We can make more than that if they do the need. But the need too is not being done. But all what they are after is to make money. So what is it needful to you? Needful is to improve on, is to improve in injection substitutions, put more transformers, power transformers in all the, in every location, and make sure that all the areas that you did not have. You see, this is how it works. If I generate, if I generate, 
4,000 megawatts as transmission. I have 4,000 megawatts. And distribution did not evacuate that 4,000 megawatts. How can I produce another one? Mm. And I cannot keep the light. I can't hold it. That's a simple term. I can't hold it. I must give it out. In the process that I'm all trying to hold it, we have system collapse. That's why we are having multiple system collapse within a month. Because the people who are supposed to evacuate are not evacuating. They are mm -hmm. not giving the supply. They are oh. looking at the money they are going to make without giving people's life. They oh. are making money without giving people's life. I mean, I was just going to ask that because um, a few days ago, I think it was it was on Monday that the national grid um, collapsed. collapsed. Yeah. So um, if, if TCN yes. is not privatized, for instance, if TCN, this, this is how I understand it. if TCN is privatized and then they're generating all of this and then they're working with the, the distribution companies and ensuring that people can have um, adequate electricity supply, wouldn't that be a good thing? Because all of these um, transmission companies are now generating even more than we, we require. Yeah. See, what we expected the government to do, let the government talk to the stakeholder in the electricity industry, let them, let them partner with the union. We should be able to tell them the way forward. We know the way forward. We will advise and tell the government the way forward. But for someone to sit down out there, just come and tell us this is what we have to do, this is what we have to do. That's on paper. It doesn't work. Mm. That's on paper. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Let them partner with the union. We are partners in progress. We'll be able to tell them where the problem is, where we have the problem, where the problem is see the gray area, see where we need to work on, see what we need to do, see the area that we need improvement. These are issues. These are critical issues. It's not an issue that you just sit down somewhere and believe that if you, if you privatize TCN, if you privatize TCN today, the same problem we are having in distribution company is the same problem we are going to face. Mm. Because there won't be control measure. They will tell you you are the owner. And if you are telling me that you are the owner, let me tell you, my sister, government have, they have percentage in distribution. Who is the person representing government interest? They should come out and tell us. Who is representing the government interest? Nobody. Nobody. And the same thing will happen. And they so to their friends. Who are not technically inclined in this business? They are well, not. I think, I think that's, that's where we're going to leave it here. Um, my advice would be, if, if you're saying you can partner with the government and you know, bring these reforms, I think you should find a way to sit down with them, um, even if it means writing to them, sit down with them and show them these reforms and how um, it would work for the electricity companies in Nigeria. Anyways, we want to thank you, Comrade Ayo, for joining us. Thank you for coming to shed light um, on this topic. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you. All right, um, we've been speaking to Comrade Ayo Obisoya, Lagos State Chairman, National Union on Electricity Employees, NUEE. -E. And we're talking about the privatization of TCN. And NLC is saying it is quite dangerous. Anyways, we hope um, that they do the right thing and mm. ensure that everyone needs power. We all need power, um, even just to feel good, to turn on your aces and have like a chill drink. There are critical okay. things that the government must not uh, just leave in the hands of, uh, of uh, private sector. Education, health, mm -hmm. power, these are things Even that... Housing, uh, yeah. Yeah, housing. Basic these amenities. are things that the government should pay close attention to and uh, whatever they do, they should monitor as well and make sure that it works. Like he was complaining that if we sell it, it will still be the same thing. So. Government should look into it and see what they can do about it instead of just selling it out. It's not everything that we should sell. Not to sell. Right, right. Okay, I think that's where we wrap it up on the show today. Thank you for staying with us. Um, we'll see you again tomorrow. My name is Romain Paulson. And I am Nyamgul Agadi. Have a lovely one day to weekend. <laughs> <laughs> see you Bye tomorrow. Bye. Yeah.